did Sark recruit you at Washington at a high school? Yeah, I was, I don't know if I've told you the story. I was literally seconds away from going to Washington. Really? Was, and mainly because of him and, and Coach Nussmeyer was there at the time. But um, yeah, I mean, it was the morning of and I was going to commit to Washington and wow. I felt like I was done with everything. And Coach Kiffin called me that day and um, offered me. And wow. it was just a total shock for me, you know. And um, I Had you always so wanted set. to go to SC or, or? It wasn't that. It was, you know, I, I mean, obviously it's, a huge school and the tradition behind it's amazing and, and you know so when I got the offer I was like All right, I gotta take a step back I can't just you know straight go to Washington right now and, wow. and you know throw this under the bus and um, you know I narrowed it down to Washington SC wow. and, and weighed out the pros and cons and um, you, you get know, the best both words out. now you got Coach Sarkeesian and, and that's good what, weather. That's the first thing he said to me he's like oh it looks like I finally got you and, you know we laughed about it but we picked right up where we left off you know he was great through the whole recruiting process yeah. and, and real true to his word and um, he's a great football coach. Do you feel like you have a, a, an academic side to your life here? Do you feel like you're a real student or you kind of wake up every morning and think of yourself as, the, as a football player? Yeah, no, I definitely think of myself as a student. And that was my one of the things that drew me here. One of the, honestly, one of the deciding factors was, you know, getting a degree from this university can help you yeah. for the rest of your life. You know, football only goes so far. And it's hard to see that as a high school or, or even in college. Guys don't think, oh, football's going to end. Right. It'll never end. And, you know, something that I weighed out in high school was, you know, where do I want to get a degree from also, and not only play football, but, right. you know, get an education, and, you know, this school is second to none, and um, I take my academics very seriously, and, and it's something that, you know, I like to take pride in, just because, you know, it kind of shows what kind of person you are, because if you're a great football player, but you don't take care of business outside of football, like in the classroom, or you're always missing, um, you know, that's going to transition on the rest of your life, right. so I take it very seriously. Um, tell us a little bit about school, what's your major? I'm doing sociology, and um, I like it. I was going to do communications at first. Mm -hmm. And then I took a social class. I took a couple of comm classes here. Right. So I think I might do a minor in that or, good, or good. try to work some with that. But um, I'm about three classes away from getting my degree Isn't in sociology. Amazing. Yeah, so wow. I'll be done by the end of fall. This next fall, that's upcoming fantastic. semester, I'll be done. Yeah. So presumably and, you'd work on a graduate degree? Yeah, and that's, that's the plan. Yeah, that's, that's the plan. Um, and we'll see. I don't know. After that, we'll go from there. And um, yeah, I'm just definitely excited to have that done and, and have a degree. And, you know, that, that I came in early. Yeah. Because it was yeah. hard at first when I got here yeah. and all my friends were still there, but it's benefited me so much. Yeah. So your your hopes for ne next season? Uh, I know you got to get some time off this summer, thank goodness, but, you know, what what do you what are your expectations? What are your um, I mean, obviously, it's, it's we're taking it one game at a time right. and playing it safe. You sound like a coach now. Yeah. No, well, no, I mean, I think I've just <laughs> know, learned that experience. I've I learned that. And, um, but, I mean, the thing that I look at from last year is, Everyone praises the 10 wins, but the thing I look at is the four losses, you know, and that's that's something that can't happen again this year, and, and something that, you know, we control from happening, and we right. can prevent it from happening, and um, I think we have the team to do it, you know, I'm very confident in these guys, and, and Coach Stark has gotten these guys rallied around each other and pleading themselves, and only 13 practices in the spring so far, and, you know, we've come so far, and, and this team looks great, and, you know, the sky's the limit for this team, I'm excited, and, you know, obviously the, the main goal is, is Rose Bowl, National Championship, and making it to the playoffs now, and um, you know, I'm, it's 100% possible with this team. Great. Cody, thanks for being with us. Absolutely, thank you.